Coyacán. The leafy Jardín Centenario Park sits at the center of Bohemian Coyacán, known for its cobblestone streets and colonial architecture. The bright blue Museum of Frida Kahlo, showcasing her life and work, is here, as are the well-preserved former home of Leon Trioski, art galleries and colorful artisan markets. Upscale sidewalk cafes sit side by side with laid-back ice cream parlors along the tree-lined streets. Food and drink, traditional cantina, La Coyacana is an absolute must visit. Stop by midday for a cold beer and an inexpensive bite for classical cantina menu. The patio is lush and cozy, but it can be boisterous during peak hours. Next door, the food market buzzes all day with stalls selling tacos, tortas, sopes, and much more. It's especially popular at night. For something more sophisticated, try Los Danzantes. For a more informal experience, try Sibling Corazón, directly across from Jardín Centenario, where you can find upscale antojitos, mezcal cocktails, and beer. Both restaurants feature sidewalk tables facing the plaza, as well as intimate indoor settings. If you need your java fix, try El Café Horacho, a traditional cafe shop. The markets are a must. A visit to Coyacan is not complete without a stop at the market neighborhood residence and visitors stroll crowded aisles shopping for fruit, vegetables, meats, cheeses, housewares, piñatas, fresh flowers, fresh roasted coffee, and pottery. For a larger selection of traditional handcrafts, try the bizarre Artisanal Mexicano, where you'll find jewelry, pottery, wood carvings, indigenous textiles, and much, much more. We make a stop and visit San José del Altillo. We visit the tomb of Maria Concepción Cabrera de Armira, well known as Conchita. She was born in San Luis Potosí, Mexico on December 8, 1862. She was the seventh of nine children born to a well-known landowner. She had nine children she was known for a mystic. She was beatified in May of 2019. Because of her depth of writing, Conchita is recognized as a great mystic of the 20th century. Amazingly, her children had no recollection of her time spent writing, even though she amassed over 60,000 handwritten pages of religious works. This amount of writing reveals that of St. Thomas Aquinas. Here, you can visit the home of the missionaries of the Holy Spirit. She founded the works of the cross, enjoy their grounds, retreat center, and lovely reflection time there. So here we are in uh, Coyacan, and I highly recommend if you come to Mexico, visit Coyacan. We were here in the market, we saw the church, which is amazing, it's beautiful, and now we're eating in the, in the market, and we're going to be having some uh, huaraches, which is a typical food here of Mexico.